what's about to happen with Neil's going in the water really doesn't do anything with his sin. His sin's already been washed away in the blood of Jesus, and the water becomes a picture of what Jesus' blood does, and what his death does, and how we go down into the water like Jesus went down, he died, he went into the tomb, and he came out on the third day. Now, I won't be keeping Neil's there for three days. <laughs> I realized that spankings and groundings probably weren't enough to keep me in line. I realized I needed something different, something more. That's when I asked Jesus to be my Savior. I asked Him to be my Savior, but I never really gave Him complete control. I, I've always known that I sin, but I've never felt like... I never felt the weight of my sin like that before. I've always known that I sin just because everyone sins not because I personally felt the weight of the sin on top of it. And it was not long after that happened to me that came to those realizations that I had a dream. I don't remember any of the specifics of the dream. All I know was that I spent the night with Jesus. I spent the night with Jesus, I woke up, I didn't want to wake up. I wanted to keep sleeping. I wanted to just stay there because I knew that just the presence of being with me was Lord, we pray your blessing upon us now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.